tonight, I will never let go of his hands. I know someone out there this morning is listening, and I know you're holding on just as well as I am. And I want to tell you, do not let go of his hands. Keep hold of his hands. Keep holding. Keep holding. All right, y'all. Y'all hear that? I know you do. It is time for the Relationship 411 with Miss Coco Bowden. Y'all, that song got me kind of teary at it because, you know, sometimes when you go through so many things, you know, you go through so much, and it seems like at times you're all alone. And, and you know, at times we do think that when it comes down to looking at the people that are around us, it seems like right when we go through something, that's when everybody seems to scatter and it just makes you thankful that you have a relationship with God. I know I am, you know, through all the trials and tribulations I've been through, every time I needed a friend, I would look around and either people would come and change the subject to be about them or they would leave, period, until the coast cleared, right? <laughs> but I thank God on tonight, this morning, that we have a God that sits high and looks low and will never leave nor forsake us, amen? Almost then got off track here about the relationship 411 because I'm just so thankful. I'm just so thankful tonight. So relationship 411 tonight is dealing with players, how to discern spirits when you're dealing with players. Look, we all want to we all want a great relationship someday. And, you know, most of my relationship 411 is for the singles because I've never been married. So I don't know what that feel like. But I'm hoping to be one day. And so I mostly cater this to bring hope to those of you who are out there seeking. Those of you who have been waiting for years and years. And all of a sudden you just get like me. You want to get out and you want to date a little. You want to see what's out there. Because listen, I was on the prayer line um, Monday night. We do prayer line, global prayer line with Apostle Vera Howard and, you know, a lot of other prayer warriors. And one of the things that really touched me last night, no, Monday night, about the prayer line was when the speaker was talking about strongholds. And sometimes we can hold on to these strongholds of brokenness, strongholds of sadness, strongholds of feeling like we're not worthy enough. And when she began to teach that last night in praying for the strongholds of sadness to be just broken off, because sometimes you might not have a broken heart, but you may be just sad because you're single. So that really touched me right there. And I realized that I had been in a position where I had some sadness going on because when I needed people, nobody was there. So I decided that after this had happened, I was like, you know what? Why ain't I dating? Why am I still sitting around not doing anything? All right. And I'm plus size too. So I, I decided to join the BBW um, um, dating online site. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it um, because I feel like this, as long as you have God inside of you and you know God is in control of everything and you know that your destiny is connected to your relationship with God, I think there ain't nothing that you cannot do. So when it comes down to it, sometimes, like I said, there are other people who may not have access to this broadcast or may not know that they're walking around with all this sadness and stuff. And so whenever they get ready to go and date, they may not understand how to discern spirits. They may not understand what discerning spirits are because for those of them that are not mature, in that area, sometimes we just don't know how to discern these spirits and we end up with players. And I mean, that's for men and women. You end up with a player and then all of a sudden you're broken again. You just got over one thing and now, guess what? You're going right into another one. So um, in this discerning spirit thing, when you're dating, it's good to still discern. And one of the best ways to discern between these players out here, because we know that's real. I mean, we just can't change that. That's who people are. They are players. Is we have to pay attention to how they treat us. 
how they treat us says a lot about who they really are on the inside. Are they treating us with love and kindness? Are they operating in the fruit of the Spirit? One person told me one time that they didn't think God should be, um, well, they was kind of like, you can't connect God to a lot of other things, um, like your material things and stuff like that. No, you cannot connect God to material things and stuff like that. But where he is connected is to your heart. So your heart tells a lot about where you are in you know, how you can discern these spirits. So if someone is treating you bad, you have to discern between, is this a good spirit or is this an evil spirit? Is this a good spirit or a bad spirit? Is this a spirit that I really need to be connecting to? Is this someone I can relate to? So you have to use the wisdom of God and the knowledge of God. So you have to pray for God to give you those things and for the Holy Spirit to lead you as you're out here on your dating quest, as you're out here looking for love well waiting for love to find you and looking too at the same time you know it's okay to seek and find amen and you know it's okay to build yourself up during those times that you are waiting and seeking and so i feel like this whenever it comes down to dating you gotta put god first even in your dating life the same way you would have a business and you would want God to be the head of that business. You got to do the same thing with dating. And how does that work? He's got to be inside of you. He's got to dwell inside of you. You've got to have a place on the inside that he can live. <laughs> Amen. So that means you got to get rid of some of the stuff that you are holding on to. Like those strongholds of um, sadness and sorrow. Those strongholds of um, addictions and, and committing to bad relationships and stuff like that. You've got to get rid of those addictions and bad habits. And the only way you can do that is to go to none other than God himself. And ask him to remove anything that's inside of you that should not be. So that your eyesight may be spiritually cleared. So that your hearing, the word of God says, those that have an ear, let him hear. So that your ear gates can be clearly open so that you can discern what the spirit is. So that you can hear what God is saying in order to discern what that spirit is all right so when i think of this you go to philippians 1 9 through 10 and it says and this is what i'm saying to all of you this morning that is listening or those of you that may listen later on and this is my prayer that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. Now I want to use the scripture. That is my prayer for real. That God will open your eyes to see what is good for you. And so that you can discern what is good or bad for you in your dating life. I speak to your dating life that you will have a good time. That you will be able to open up and, and have a new start. If any man be in Christ, let him be new. Amen. So I speak to your dating life that you will have a fresh and new beginning, that you will not have the desires to go backwards. Instead, you will have the desire and the spirit to go forward. The spirit of a new thing being done inside of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I truly believe that that tonight that if you're truly designed to discern against players, like I said, that sight, that action, that sensitivity that you have is your discernment. Pay attention to what God is telling you in this season. And I do truly believe that you're going to make one great wife or one great husband. All right, y'all. So I hope that you enjoyed that. And, you know, I just feel like. If we love on people the way we say we love the Lord, then, you know, it's nothing that we can't do. It's nothing that we can't experience this new. Each day is a day to rejoice in. Each day is new. I don't care if it got the same name. I don't care if we done been through two, three Mondays. You know, don't expect the same thing every day. 
just when you least expect it because God works in mysterious ways. He'll go before you and he'll even download that knowledge in you so that you will have knowledge of how to discern uh, um, in whenever you're dealing with a player. Not only that in relationships. We have lost the fear of God in relationships. We have got to bring God back into our relationships. We got to bring God back into our search. Amen. As we are out here seeking and finding. We have got to bring God back to the beginning stages of it. In the beginning he should be first and foremost. Out of all the reverence of God should cause you to respect people. Even if they are doing you wrong, it should cause you to respect people and love people and be able to discern what is good and what is bad in your dating life. Of course, you ain't going to want nobody just, just trying to come up and get a booty call, right? In this season, I'm praying that you are wanting more than that. I don't know what your more than that is on tonight, but I'm praying and speaking into your life that you are wanting more than that. Somebody need to hit that in the chat box. More than that. You are going to get more than that. Because you are seeking more than that. Because God is bigger than anything that we can imagine. He's bigger than any dream that we can have. He's bigger than any vision that we can have. And through faith, we will obtain favor. Amen. Alright y'all, so I'm going to dedicate this song to all the singles who are starting out their spring dating. I call it spring dating because, you know, Miss Coco ain't been on no date. And so I'm out here too looking. And, you know, I'm putting God ahead of everything that I'm doing too. But I love this song right here. It's called In Love. It's called In Love. It talks about how a woman is in love with Jesus. And that's how I want you to be whenever you get ready to search for your love. That you have more love for Jesus inside of you that you will let him lead. All right. Here we go right here in the Midnight Love Garden on UGA Gospel Storm. And also 102.3 Philippines FM with Miss Coco Belden. Take a new 